Today we are looking at something revolutionary called the RTX Voice. And I'm going to show you how to set up for your GoXLR. And best of all, I'm going to show you how to install it on a GTX graphics card. So let's get started. Now before we get into setting up the RTX Voice plugin, let's talk about what it does and why you would need it. Now RTX Voice is a plugin that utilizes the AI in your new RTX card to help reduce any background noises while you stream, make a podcast, or simply on a business call on Skype. Now what that means if you're in an apartment or in a house where you have noisy neighbors or you simply have a mechanical keyboard, the RTX Voice will help cut out those unwanted noises so that people don't hear that, but only your voice. Now for those of you who are curious of what you need and with what apps the RTX Voice plugin actually works, Here's a list of supported apps, and if you want to use it the way it's intended, you will need an NVIDIA GeForce RTX or Quadro RTX graphics card updated to version 4.10.18 or newer and also running Windows 10. And for those of you wanting to know how you can bypass that with the GTX graphics card, let me show you now how you can do that, but bear in mind, this didn't work for me and there's also people who actually said it doesn't work for them, so it seems like it works for some people and it doesn't work for others, so if it works for you, good job. If it doesn't, there's nothing I can do. Firstly, you'll need to download and install the RTX Voice plugin. There's a download link down in the description below if you just want to click on that, and it will take you directly to the download. Now, in the installation, if you have an RTX card, just follow all the procedures. But if you have a GTX graphics card, the installation will immediately fail. Now, once the installation fails, all you need to do is go into your temp folder, go into RTX Voice, then find the RTX Voice.mvi. Now, once you're in there, open it up with any text editor and remove the constraints. Now, the constraints is this part you will need to remove. And once you have removed that, you can then save that file once again to that same location and restart the installation. Now, it was at this point that the installation just kept failing for me, even though I used it on the 1650 Super and on my GTX 1080, none of them worked. So it is supposed to work at that point. If it doesn't work for you, then either it doesn't work or there's another workaround you'll need to do. For me, I tried to make this work for about a day or two and it just didn't work. So I decided just to give that a skip. I don't have an RTX voice. It's not intended for GTX cars. So if it doesn't work, it was, it was never supposed to work. Now, once you have the app installed, the next thing will be to actually configure your microphone for the app. So in the app, there's an input, and in my case, it's gonna be GoXLR chat mic, because that is actually what the mic is called in my entire setup. If you're using GoXLR, it's gonna be the same for you. If you're not using GoXLR, just find the name of your mic and add it in there. Now, on the next part, you will see an output. Now, NVIDIA actually suggests that you keep that unticked, and once you've done that, you're actually ready to add it to your programs. Now, I'm not gonna be showing you how to set this up for all programs. I'm gonna be showing you how to set up for OBS using my GoXLR. If you're gonna be using OBS without a GoXLR, you're more than welcome to follow along. Also, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below to show you how to set it up for all other programs, as I'm not gonna do this in this video. If you're using GoXLR, you'll need to change a few settings in the GoXLR app to ensure that you can use the RTX Voice plugin on your mic and still keep the rest of your audio unchanged or without losing the functionality of having everything split and on their own separate faders. Now, the first thing you want to do is go into your GoXLR app. Under the routing tab, remove the mic from your broadcast stream mix to ensure that you can still use the entire GoXLR as you would and just have the mic separate for the RTX Voice. Now, once that is done, you can then add them as two different sources in OBS, as one is gonna be your stream broadcast mix and the other is gonna be your RTX voice plugin as a second source. Now, in the next image, you can actually see I have a chat mic and a broadcast stream mix as two different sources in OBS, where mine says chat mic, just ensure that it's actually the RTX voice plugin that you have there. As I can't install the RTX voice plugin, I can't add that to the source in OBS but just ensure that you're using the RTX voice plugin in that source and not the chat mic. Now, since I couldn't do any tests on the GTX graphics cards to actually show how much it uses your CPU and GPU individually, I would have to say in conclusion that if you don't have an RTX card, instead of going out and buying an RTX 2060 or better, rather go out and buy yourself a new audio setup. 
Now, the reason I say this is because an RTX 2060 starts at around a $300 price range. And to specifically buy a device to alter your voice in software is always worse than just buying a new audio upgrade that can actually remove the background noises for you in the hardware. Now, what I would suggest is actually going out and buying a $100 dynamic mic like the Rode Pod mic. Those are amazing at removing background noises as Dynamics mics are made to do that. And with a $100 Dynamic mic, you will have amazing quality straight off the bat without you even having to add any filters or anything else. Now, I would pair that up with a GoXR Mini where you have the functionality of an EQ as well as amazing quality sound as well as you get all the other functionality of splitting all of your audio, so your game chat, your mic, everything else, all on faders. And with that setup, you're gonna be paying around the same price you would for an RTX 2060. Now, the only difference between the two is the one that's gonna actually be altering your voice in software, which is never a good idea if you can do it on the hardware side. Now, if you don't have a GPU, let's say you're starting off streaming and this is gonna be your first PC, Going out and spending a little bit more to get an RTX card to actually have the RTX voice, it's gonna be a little better than actually going out and spending another $350 more on a mic and a mixer. Now, of course, down the line, you might need to upgrade your audio. And if you are still in a noisy environment, once you start making audio upgrades, I would still suggest going for something like the GoXR Mini and a dynamic mic. As I said, the Rode Pod mic is a great mic for this. But getting a dynamic mic will significantly reduce the background noise you get as dynamic mics are made to reduce those noises anyway. And that is it for today's video. I hope this video helped you if you have a GoXLR and you didn't know how to set up RTX voice with the GoXLR. And also if I can actually do a few tests or get the RTX voice to work on the GTX cards, I'll definitely make another video on that to show you how much GPU and CPU that actually uses or if I can hopefully get an RTX card, I can just actually test it out on an RTX card so I can give you guys the results of what it actually does to your PC and whether or not it's a viable choice if you only have like a one PC setup or if it's just better to go out and buy the audio equipment. And then I would also like to remind you guys to leave a like and subscribe to this video if you enjoyed it. Also, I stream live on Twitch every Sunday, Monday and Wednesday afternoon. If you want to come in and ask any tech related questions like this, or if you just want to come in and hang out until next time, guys. Cheers. He's going to they're going to fight each other. Let's see who's going to win. Oh. Did you guys see it? We had a double knockout.